Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I was like, let me just go ahead and film a video because I haven't filmed or posted a video in a long time. Well, it's only been a week, but I had so many things planned. I was going to do a video, of, a book review of the book that I'm currently, or just finished reading by the time I upload this. And then also I was gonna do a pet care video where I show you like how I grow my rabbit. And then I also have, um, a kind of vlog style video coming up where I just vlog like what I'm doing in the day but more than likely I'll just be doing a video of me wrapping my nieces and nephews presents so oh well my little sister watches my channel so that's probably not a good idea okay I'll wrap everybody's gift except for hers and my other sister the one I know for sure watches my videos so anyway yeah just a little life update if you will um y'all i am super blessed and i'm so happy with the way that things are turning out um i want to do a video on mental health my personal journey and you know just a few of the things that i have struggled with in the past and how I have overcame them, which is the central thing about, I'm gonna do a, I might do a separate video, but just to touch on it a little bit, one of the main things that has got me through a lot of the hardships in my life would have to be my own self drive, God and family. I feel like those three key things are what's really going to unlock you know endless possibilities for you when you're trying to overcome something that is traumatic or just something that's stressing you or whatever it doesn't have to necessarily be god for you because i know a lot of people believe in different things but just being in tune with the spiritual realm or like whoever whatever divinity you believe in um it helps a lot it really does help a lot um but yeah, like everything's been going pretty good. My mental health is actually really good. I'm excited because um, my birthday is coming up and I'm gonna do something that I wanted to do for a very long time. Also, I just got my birthday dress in the mail from Amazon, like y'all. I have been wanting to wear dresses forever and it's sad because of how old I am. I just never really had the confidence to wear dresses, but I'm wearing a dress on my birthday and um i'm excited about that i'm really it's just the small things for me like i know a lot of people get excited about huge things like um big huge purchases or houses or cars or um, degrees which are all valid and awesome things to get excited about but for me like small things like me getting my nails done that's small um me getting a new pair of shoes, like it don't take a lot for me y'all. Like I get happy on just the minuscule of things. It could be somebody who's always in a stank attitude and they just say hey to me and smile at me today. Like that stuff like that, like, oh, she's being nice or he's being nice today. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that really just makes me so happy. Um, But yeah, like recently I've just been on a positive train. I know that it's nearly impossible in the climate that we're in now with everybody suffering, people losing their jobs. And um, it seems like a lot of breakups are happening now. Um, just a lot of trials and tribulations. And I feel like people have forgotten, you know, that you we're still all in this together. We're all going through something. We're all struggling or what have you. And if we can all stick together and be common, decent human beings, the world and our situations would be so much better. It doesn't take much. It, I mean, like, paying for something at the grocery store for somebody, it doesn't have to be big. I mean, like, you see people on video going to homeless people, where homeless people are, and, you know, buying them uh, really huge gifts and stuff like that, and you don't have to do that. You don't have to do all of that. You don't have to... Put yourself in debt to help people just you know bringing a homeless person a hot meal or a bag of chips or a soda giving them a dollar giving them a quarter anything helps like uh when you're at the grocery store like you could 
You don't gotta pay for a whole bunch of groceries to make somebody feel better. Pick one thing out of the cart. You know, and be like, hey, I mean, I know it's social distancing, but you know how the belts are pretty long and people have to stand at the uh, the pay center versus the end of the belt where their groceries are. Just say, hey, point to it. Can I pay for that for you? Like, just the small stuff like that makes people, you know, so much happier. Okay, yeah, so like I was saying, um, you can just do something small, uh, giving back or whatever, and it makes a big difference in people's lives. Just putting a smile on somebody's faces. I know it may sound mediocre, or some people are like, you know, I don't want to give to nobody. I don't have nothing right now. Your kind words. Kind words of encouragement and your prayers. When somebody's telling you their issues or their problems, you know, um, typically now people are starting to hear, oh, well, that's so sad. That's so awful. Sorry you're going through that. You know, a simple, I'll pray for you and I'll pray for your situation and I hope it gets better. Or for the people that are non-spiritual, I'm here if you need me. You know what I mean? Anything that offers some type of, I don't know what you call it, any, any type of comfort to somebody. I feel like comfort is what help you heal. Comfort is what help you move on and persevere forward. Um... Yeah, because y'all, life is just, it's wonderful. It's a beautiful thing to wake up every day. It's a beautiful thing to be able to go out there and make every day something new, something adventurous. If you get tired, or you, if you're tired or bored with life or whatever, and, you know, your city is not locked down currently, um, you just go take a drive somewhere. You don't have to get out and go into the store and be around people just drive drive around you know what i mean i know it may sound crazy but just clear your mind just get a new scenery um for the people who are locked down why not just call somebody on the phone and to call somebody that you know is going to offer some type of emotional support or just give you positive vibes i mean don't use it in like a usey way or a way where it's like oh well um I haven't spoken to my mom in a long time and you know I speaking to her she always makes me feel good so let me just call her because I want to feel good no call her because you genuinely just want to speak to her and you know in the back of your mind hey my mom always makes me feel better or I love or enjoy talking to my mom so that's just one of those things um so yeah just spread positivity love you know, give to people, um, whether it be emotionally, mentally, spiritually, whatever you can do. Any little thing helps because we all in this together, y'all. And um, eventually everything is going to start to look up for you. It may not be when this pandemic is over. It could be a lot sooner than that. It could be a one phone call away. It can be one kind word away, one prayer away. So... Just be positive and just already believe that life is better for you and your situation is better and it will be. So that's how I've mostly gotten through um, the things that are challenging me currently. Um, but yeah, I have some videos that are coming out and um, I wanted my channel to be full of positivity. So I just want to do a little bit more research so that way I'm not giving out false information or information that is not helpful. Again, these are all my opinions. You you should definitely seek professional help if you mentally need it or spiritually or emotionally need it. If you feel like you do, just seek professional help. There are professional spiritual people, um, you know, your mental health, emotional health, go see a doctor, a therapist, psychiatrist, whatever, what have you. But I feel like if I can watch a motivational video every morning or a positive podcast in the morning, it makes me feel better. Then I would like to do that for people as well. Yeah, I don't have to have like a million people watching me or whatever, but if I could just brighten up a few people's day, then that's what I want to do. You don't need drama. You don't need some type of hardship. You don't need um, any lies or anything like that. People want to feel good. Well, I would hope that people want to feel good. And I want to be, I want to help people feel better. Because, I mean, why not? 
why not be the light in all of this darkness and hatred in the world? Because it's so much. We got so much of that. We don't need no more of that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. And I hope you took a little bit of tips or just got a, a, a good understanding of what I was trying to say in this video. And just go spread positivity, love, and peace in the world. Because again, we need that. We can never have too much love. You can never have too much positivity and peace, in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you on my next one when I am doing my Christmas video. <laughs> Cross the fingers that I actually have the energy and time to do that. Anyway, so I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.